Graphics Lab. Hi, I'm Greg Williams. I am the University Department Chair for the Graphic Arts and Design Program. Most of us, when we think of the term graphic arts or graphic design, have this really finite picture about what it is. The fact that everything that we see and most of what we think and do are influenced by graphic designers. We just, we don't even notice that it's graphic design and we certainly don't think about the fact somebody's making a very good living doing that. The truth of the matter is this is a huge industry that encompasses things we don't think about. It's a wide open field. You can work anywhere you want, whether it's web design, whether it's videography, whether it's human interaction and multimedia such as video games and web technologies. It could be print work and advertising. It could be working for the military, working for the police, working for the government. Uh, one student of ours, Ashley Cano, graduated at age 20. She went to boot camp with the Marines. She came out of boot camp as a war photographer and in her first three months she had already interviewed and photographed the President of the United States, the First Lady of the United States, and the Vice President of the United States. Oscar Hines just started as a production artist over at Lego Land. Peter Dewey just won last year seven awards working for the Virginia Gazette. The person who does all the graphic lights during a hockey game here at the Tampa Bay Lightning, yeah, that's my student. Uh, the creative director for Sun and Fun, the creative di director for United Way, the senior designer for Lamar Outdoor Advertising. Brian Donnelly's the pre-press manager over at Publix. And Justin Murphy runs the pre-press over at the Ledger. I walk downtown and everywhere I go, I say, oh, my student did that, oh, my student did that, oh, my student did that. When we think about our educational options, we have usually have two of them. Number one is we can go to traditional brick and mortar classroom. Or you can go online where you're going to have to log in three or four days a week, do a certain amount of work, but it gives you the flexibility of when you're logging in and how you're doing your work. Both of them have their strengths and both of them have their challenges. What we've started doing about a year ago here on this campus is actually blending them together and coming up with what's called a hybrid program. For our hybrid students, it's 60% online, 40% in class. You're going to learn 10 software programs in 12 months. You're going to learn everything from web design, to video editing, to page layout, to Photoshop and illustration, to 3D. Those students who really want to grab hold of their career usually find a few times during the week to come in for two or three hours to get one-on-one -on -one individual instruction with me and Miss Percy. We love to do it. That's what we do. That's why we're here, and it really gives us a chance to get to know you, to help you on an individual basis, to take any student at whatever level they are and to get them to a much higher level and get them prepared to enter the workforce. In 10 years, the jobs that are available, 60% of them haven't been created yet. But visual hierarchy will be the same, the way we react to colors will be the same, the voice of fonts will be the same, the way we as humans interact will all stay the same. You've got to learn how to learn because you're going to need to continue learning all your life. You've got a creative spirit, you've got a creative soul. You daydream, pay attention to colors, you write poetry, you enjoy music. You're a creative spirit. Embrace it instead of hiding from it. Nobody got rich by going to work from nine to five. People live satisfied, happy lives when they're pursuing those things that make them happy.